Welcome to this little video about how making an object hollow in Lichy Slicer. I'm going to do it with this uh, little baby Yoda here. Uh, first you have the layout window, but uh, we're going to skip that part today and go directly to supports. And we have the hollow functionality right here. If you have you have a preview here to see uh, how it's going to look. Uh, you have hollowing on or off, that's uh, solid or so such. And we have the wall thickness here. Uh, uh, I like to keep it at between 2 and 2.5 mm thick in the walls. Um, that gives uh, enough stability for even larger prints. Um, you can also decide if you want to have some infill, it will create a little pattern inside. Uh, to uh, help stabilize things, either 0% or I think that uh, sometimes like 20% is good to have. Uh, and then you can also decide uh, what kind of uh, pattern you want. Uh, this uh, model actually works just fine without infill altogether. Uh, that's actually what's uh, the entire uh, hollowing is about. Uh, there's a new functionality here that I haven't exp ex uh, experimented with yet, but uh, uh, we'll take that in another mo video later on. Uh, the second thing that needs to be done is to have uh, uh, drainage holes. Uh, and that's because uh, you don't want to keep the resin within the model. Uh, and that's uh, when we go to this menu here. You can uh, decide uh, what kind of holes you want, square or cylinder, and uh, thickness, and how deep they should be. Uh, I usually like to go quite high in the penetration and uh, keep it around 2 millimeters in diameter. Uh, smaller holes tends to uh, get clogged and uh, grow together so they don't uh, work as expected. Uh, and um, actually, like in this model, I like to try to hide the hole. And uh, where's the better place to hide it than inside an ear? Uh, you need uh, usually two holes. Uh, So, uh, one in the bottom to let air in, and one uh, where it can uh, uh, let the resin uh, drain. Uh, it usually doesn't drain an entire head here, but it will uh, be able to pour out the resin afterwards when you have removed it from the plate or when you still have it on the plate. Uh, and then we can actually uh, check. So here you have it. Uh, how it will, where the hole comes through here. And then you can see how it's hollow. And you see also here you have the hole for the in the ear. You could put the hole up here, but it's, it gets k kind of ugly and you uh, uh, have difficulties hiding it. So that's why I try to put it in the ear. And that's actually all that is with hollowing. Okay, have any questions? Don't hesitate to give me a call.